we didn't see that. Okay, so now I just have to get this to fit in there. I'm going to shorten it up a little bit so it's not hanging around. And I'm going to get a file and clean that edge up. I'm happy. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray some, I'm going to lower this all the way down. That's a dangerous height, especially for this wet. You guys might have seen my coat was flapping in the wind from the, from the blade, eh? That's bad. So anyway, let's start it up and I'm going to spray some uh, carb spray on this seam here where the, new, where the new gasket is. That's the ultimate test to see if you've got a good gasket. So let's uh, start it up again. One, two, three, take it off. Remove the off to make it on. That's just too freaking cool, man. Do you know how old that thing is? It's 51 years old. Frank is almost 24. 51. I am stoked. Before I, I cleaned the carburetor and put a new uh, bowl seal on, it wouldn't prime, eh? Now it primes. Well, it would prime, but you had to just about jump on it. It's got the original J19LM spark plug in it. And the reason why you can tell, just lift it up. I can probably just lift up the front. Is that the paint on the spark plug, there's still paint on the spark plug from when the machine was made. I love that. That's how good those old spark plugs are, you guys. Don't hesitate. Now the only thing I other I really hate is this homemade or bracket from another machine and I just about cut my finger on that so that's coming out. I don't like it anyway and I don't have the bag. You want to watch me take it off if I can. Nope. I'm going to have to raise it up. And I'm sure the new gas doesn't hurt. I am so happy. Maybe next winter it will get a paint job. Now what size of nut is that? I don't know, it almost feels like a 7 16 Sorry, we're looking low there. We're almost there. The second one now. Oh, that was miserable. There we go. Voila. Now. There. Factory labels. Now the wheels are too low. Let's see how much if we can put them back to the center. Oh yeah, that's amazing. Does that go lower? Okay. Raise the back up a little bit to two. Maybe people cut their lawn longer nowadays. They eh? maybe they might. Two, two, 
Yeah, that feels about right. Front's just a tiny bit lower than the left. Let's do another test run. We'll do it on the garage floor. Oh, I gotta put a little wheel on the, a little bit of oil on those wheels though. So do you think those are the originals? I don't know. They're pretty darn nice. This is a crazy hobby. problem is there's a slight problem with the deck right here. I might have a look at that now. Uh, you know I have the... You know what I got? Is I've got those, uh, they're part of a chassis connector for the, for the engine. They go on a, they go between the bolt and the engine. They're a, kind of a U shaped piece of steel. Might just work. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. I don't know if it's too high or, too, too high or not. But we got a little problem with the frame over here, I think. Yes, right there. So let me just see if I can figure something out on that. Let's get a jack. Yes, sir, Bob, I think I can fix that. So let me get back to you. So this is what I'm talking about. To go up underneath where that frame is just cracked a little bit. It might work. See there. 
I'm not taking that bolt out. I have to be careful with these because they're easy to snap the aluminum on the frame too. Eh? Let's go up a little bit higher. That's my famous tail. Okay, let's see if we can get that out of there. I don't know if you can see or not. Nope. But it's it's that one right there. The other two are fine. So now you're just gonna look ahead at nothing while I work. Now, is that going to cover our problem? You got her, Cotter. You've guessed it, Chester. That's actually going to make our problem absolutely go away. I'll just show you if I can. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but I'm right there. I'm on my hands and knees, praying. Fixed. Might as well check the other two. Oh, almost lost the mower. There we go. Da -da -da -da. Structure complete. That makes me happy. What do you guys say? You can even see right there now. There's the, there was a holder, and now there's that metal bracket that goes from there to there. That's probably why they started using them. Eh? Oh, that's better. I wonder if that's going to improve our vibration too. There was a little vibration, and I retightened the seal on this too. going to change the oil and I don't know what side I should know by now what side the oil bung is it's usually on the same side as the oil input that's just ultimately cool fun huh? I think I paid 10 bucks for this more let's just have a look up underneath here Yep, the bung is there, and it's a half inch, a half inch bolt? I've never seen that. Come here, Jack. I'm, I'm curious to see how much they hold, because it was full, right? Did it again. Sorry about that. Okay, tilt forward, tilt back, tilt to the side, especially this side, and tilt to 
that side. That should be enough. Put the bolt in. Oil's hot, so. Good. Okay, now let's see, uh, find out how much oil is in there. The new Tecumseh's are 600 mils. I wonder what the old one will be. <clears throat> well. And an oil change to boot. So we got a new ish air filter. We got a clean carburetor with a working primer bulb. It cost me 30 bucks for that. And uh, the blade's sharp. Wheels are oiled. I cleaned that old RJ19LM, or no, J19LM plug. And we're off to the races. The only thing wrong with it now is it could use a paint job. And that's for another day. I wonder if I can check the oil already. It's pretty warm in here. Right on the full, right there. I'm so impressed. This isn't sealing all that well, but I might just see if I can uh, adjust that accordingly. So, so lightly. Don't break it now, Bruce. Yeah, that helped. You gotta be gentle with this old stuff. And you know, the old oil was pretty good. It's not black. It's just, but I wanted to get it changed. <clears throat> and now my five gallon pail is full. My five gallon pail is full and my uh, Five gallon pail of bulk oil is empty. How about that? So this is where I keep my five gallon pail. Yes, aluminum. This is where I keep my five gallon pail of oil. And you can see, I don't know if you can see, but it's full. And I just leave this here. I change the lids and take it to the town recycle whenever they have a, a toxic roundup. So there she is. I guess it's a girl. Should have been a boy. It has caused me no grief whatsoever. Okay. Look at that blade. None of it, hardly any of it's been ground down at all. Eh? I did sharpen it. Pretty cool, eh? And it's exactly two inches from the ground. So once again, my friends, I know I had some filming mistakes, but thank you for getting this old uh, Eager One from 1970 on the road, on the grass, in my shed, over and out. Well, I actually just did a fairly good little flux core weld on that. That was the part that was creaking and making the noise. And, uh, but here's it, here it is, right there. Okay, I just did that, 
Very, very tempting just to put that away, right? But, no sir. I'm gonna just change, oh, I'm just gonna change that bad boy out. I don't feel like it. And I'm gonna, and I just bought some new 3M discs, so that's exciting. Oh, that's tough going. Huh. I know. I do it over here. Right there. Don't go away. Don't go away, Matt. Just go away, right? Might be too thin. Might have to use a double. Or like a, another old one underneath. We'll see. That's good. And there we go.